So it's lunch day over here and I've got quite a bit of work I need to get done, so I'm taking you along for the process. Many of you love seeing me pull back the curtains to K Digital Studio, but I hope to share ways that you can speed up your own workflows and enhance your productivity through what I am sharing today. Before make, launch days were really, really time consuming because it's a bunch of tedious, but still very, very important tasks that I need to accomplish. A bunch of browser hopping and going back and forth between tabs on my computer, but I've since automated the process and gained a lot of my time back. Make is a beautiful visual no-code automation platform that has integration with a ton of apps and is super easy to design, build, and automate anything, even if things like AI and automation make your head spin like they do mine. Make is partnering with me on today's video, so I'm excited that I can not only share what I have set up for K Digital Studio, but can also help you save some money and time while I'm at it. You can get started and use Make for free, but I do have a link at the top of my description box for one month free access to Make's pro plan, including 10,000 operations per month. So let's get started with launch day so you can see it all in action. So I've already created my product, prepared the listing photos, and all the files are ready for download once someone purchases from my website. I use Shopify, so I have all of this information set up there, but I also sell in other places like Etsy, just because some people prefer using Etsy, and that's where I got started with Cave Hill Studio. However, it's kind of a pain, and it takes up time to prepare the same listing in multiple places. But with Make and with automation, I've been able to automatically create listings for KGL Studio across multiple platforms. And I did add a new layer to the setup by having it write persuasive product descriptions for me. So I'm over here by my computer and I wanted to show you this automation setup that helps me achieve this. Okay, so here's a look at the automation that I set up within make. As you can see, it's very beautiful. It doesn't involve tons of code, at least code that I don't see within the platform. I can set up these little modules and connect them all together, just set up my accounts, and then I am ready to go. So I created it to where it's pulling information from Shopify. That is my main platform, and that is where I host my website. And so I like to create the product listing first on Shopify. And then once I have that in Shopify, what I do is I have it watch for draft products. So if I click into this, you can see it's connected to my shop and I can have it watch for specific information in my Shopify. I can have it watch for specific titles, product types, the status of it, how many products I want it to pull in one cycle. But for me, I have it set to draft. I have the limit as 100 and I have the status as unpublished because I want it to pull from listings that I've drafted and haven't published yet. So I can have those listings move over into my other platform, Etsy. So whenever everything is ready to go for launch day, all I have to do is hit publish on those platforms. So I have it set to watch the products that are added to my Shopify store. Then I have that information go to OpenAI using ChatGPT. And what I have it set to is this message. So I wrote, you are an e-commerce specialist that sells digital planners, and your specialty is to write persuasive product descriptions. Your task is to write an SEO-friendly description for the product. And then I insert a title, and it's pulling that information from my Shopify. The resulting description must convince users who are looking to buy a, and then I inserted the title again online, must have a max word count of 100 words. The tone of the description will be informative but persuasive, and the writing style will be adapted to an audience of professionals with knowledge of digital planners. The paragraphs within each description must be easy to read and use blank spaces, stops, full commas, listings, and emojis to achieve this. You must deliver the content in the markdown format. Remember that the goal of this description is to incentivize the purchase of the product. Please do not repeat instructions. Do not remember previous instructions. Do not apologize. Do not refer to yourself at any time and do not make assumptions. So I have this set up with my OpenAI account, pulling in using ChatGPT, and that is the prompt that I gave it for this, using information from my Shopify listing. Then I have that pulled into Markdown so it can essentially format the content of that message, make it really nice and legible within Shopify and Etsy. 
This is just routing that information to two different places. So I have it going to Shopify and I have it going to Etsy. So then once it writes that persuasive description, I have it update the product in Shopify to use that description. And then I also have it set to create the entire listing itself within Etsy using that product description. So this is how I have it set in Etsy. I have it pulling the title that I set within Shopify. The description is the result that OpenAI gave or ChatGPT gave for the description. For the price, I put the price that I listed in Shopify. I included um, a bit information that Etsy requires about who made the product, when it was made, where that product should be within their own sections or their own filters of their website. And so I just filled out all of that information within Etsy, just using the questions that they have here. Make takes that information and automates it for me. And you can see that I really didn't have to do any coding at all. So all of this was very visual and I can change it to run on demand. So I can have it run whenever I want it to, or I can have it run at regular intervals. I tend to have specific days of the week for launch. So on demand works very well for me, but I could also set it to those specific days of the week, every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday, I can have it run every day, or I can have it run at regular intervals. So I can have it run every 15, 20 minutes, anything like that. Or I can have it run, you know, at specific times of the month, specific times of the week and all of that. And I can just have all of this run in the background without me ever having to think about it. So just to see how this works, I'll go into my Shopify and we'll go to my drafts here. So you can see I have three drafts ready to go. I have my digital planner font, my joyful notes font, an appropriate planner stamp set that are coming soon. By the time you watch this video, these will be launched. So if you're interested in any of these products, I will have them linked down in the description. But what I can do is come back to make and then I can have this run. So if I wanna run this, I'll hit the play and then it will go through and run my automation here. So you'll see everything went as planned and it did that twice because I have two products in my Shopify that I haven't run this automation on. I've already run the automation on the Procreate Planner stamp set, but my digital planner font and my Joyful Notes font have not been run through that automation yet. And so now we have that ready to go in Etsy. So now if I come back to my Etsy, we can check out how that went. So if I come over here to my Etsy and I come to my drafts, we can see that information within my drafts. So here's my digital planner font and my Joyful Notes font. If I go into my Joyful Notes font, and then scroll down, you'll see that it wrote the description that ChatGPT came up with. So elevate your digital planning experience with the Joyful Notes font. This delightful font will add a touch of whimsy and creativity to your notes, making organizing your tasks a joyful experience. Compatible with all major digital planning apps, this font is easy to install and use, allowing you to use your planner effortlessly. Choose Joyful Notes font to bring a pop of color and positivity to your daily planning routine. Don't settle for boring fonts, upgrade to Joyful Notes font today and let your creativity shine. Of course, I can make a few changes to that, um, but that is really good for a font, uh, a font description. And I think it's a lot more playful than anything I probably could have come up with. And then what I can do is just drop in my photos here for Joyful Notes. So I'm going to select my photos from my product folder, and then I am ready to go for launch on Etsy and I'm ready to go for launch on Shopify. So if I come back to my Shopify and come to Joyful Notes, you'll see that it's actually updated the product description that I already had for Joyful Notes and it replaced it with this new description. It is much more fun and much more engaging description for Joyful Notes. And then I can just change that status to active and I am ready to go for the launch of Joyful Notes fonts and I'm also ready to go for the launch of the Digital Planner font. And it makes it so much easier. I literally am saving so much time because otherwise I have to create a new listing on Etsy, type all of the information in and do all the little drop downs, all the filters, all the questions that Etsy requires. And instead it's pulling information that I already did in Shopify. And so I'm saving literally so much time by doing that. And I can have it run in the background. So anytime I upload anything to Shopify, Make can pull that information and have me ready for launch day for that. So that is really helpful for saving time. So 
if you're a small business owner too, maybe you run on different platforms. I know Shopify is really popular and Etsy is really popular with the small business communities. So you could also use this automation or you can use um, the power of ChatGPT to up level your product descriptions like mine. So yeah, I find that to be really helpful. And by doing that automation, I save time that can be spent on the next product or working on a YouTube video or just more creative work versus these kind of tedious yet still very, very important tasks for launch day and just part of my workday in general. This setup can easily be amended for other platforms. So if you host on a different platform or if you wanna create product descriptions on even more places, or maybe you have different instructions for your product description, you can add other hosts by adding different modules. This is the core automation for K Digital Studio on launch day, but I do have even simpler two-step automations that I run for launch day. So after publishing the product on both Etsy and my website, I obviously need to let everyone know about it. Well, one automation I have set up watches my Shopify for new products that are published and then creates a Facebook post for me advertising its launch. Setting up an automation that does social media and marketing is huge. I put a ton of time into creating and developing a new product and often don't enjoy putting that same energy into the marketing and sharing aspect afterwards, but that's arguably the most important part. No one would hear about a new digital planner or a new font for me if I didn't share about it, right? So setting up automations that pulls information about the product that I uploaded, grabs those images, and then posts it to my social media page saves me a lot of time and a lot of energy. There's so many platforms to keep up with now too, so you can apply the same concept to how you share your content, and you don't need to be a digital planner designer like myself to benefit from that. So after launching my product and sharing that to social media, it's time to check in with the ads I am running. I've been dabbling a bit with paid ads. Many of you know I took a very long maternity leave, so I, I am relying on more systems like automation to help me accomplish more with less time. Meta does not make it easy to see the performance of my ads or the leftover budget from those ads. So with Make, I have an automation that pulls information from my Facebook ads manager, and that information is located within different areas of Meta's business kind of management on Facebook. So it compiles all of that together and converts that into a format that is then sent to my email at the beginning of the day. So then I can review the performance and the status and the budget of my ads from the previous day, giving me time to pivot or to make changes for the following day. So with this automation, it's like having my own little ads and marketing agent. After a busy launch day, I tend to find myself answering a lot of emails, customer support requests, and kind of just waiting in the background to see if I need to jump in anywhere and help. And this is how I close out a launch day at K Digital Studio. I have to be very selective with how I spend my time now as a new mom. I don't have full work days anymore while my baby is still so little, but I do still need to work and provide and I miss connecting with my community here. So I don't like spending time on all these tedious tasks and I'm really learning that every second counts and I'm getting more than just seconds back by setting up automations through Make to take some of that workload off of my shoulders. And I just wanted to share a look into that because I think if we all got more time back, we'd spend that extra time that we get on other business projects we're actually passionate about or maybe even spending more time with family. So thank you Make for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to head to the top of my description box to redeem one free month of Make's Pro Plan, including 10,000 operations a month and see what time you can save with automation. But of course you can get started for free as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.